Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. I am doing a few viewer inspired videos. This comes from some comments I received in my What is Causing a Recent Market Exuberance video. That was in place of a week that was video, and I was going to uh, feature some companies that uh, release interesting announcements through the week, but I did not get to that part. And I just said, hey, just leave uh, your questions in the comments section in regards to any companies you'd like me to do a standalone video on. And I did receive a few replies. Some of the replies were fairly long, including uh, the company I'll be, or the merger I'll be talking about in this video. Another reply was just uh, three letters long, uh, IDP. At this point in time, I won't be doing a standalone video on IDP. I just wanted to focus on Bubs and this particular merger update between Sigma Healthcare and Chemist Warehouse. And here is the question. So a fairly lengthy question. Hi, Nebby, what do you think about Sigma's three days trading and price way above 0 0.7 or 70 cents, which is then ton of it off, off a price? Do you think it is a long-term hold? I read on AFR that people are selling on Friday because they saw an ACC blocked Helios and ACL merger. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I was absolutely shocked at the market uh, behavior when Sigma started trading again, share price at one point in time got as high as one dollar and thirty-five cents, and that was just insane. In my opinion, that was absolutely insane because I was thinking at a share price of seventy cents, if it did open at seventy cents on that day, was it Wednesday or Thursday? If the share price did open up at seventy cents, that could be considered fair value for Chemist Warehouse and this particular merger. And I don't think the market at that point in time, when it opened up at $1.30, was pricing in the risk that this particular merger might not get through. There is a big risk in regards to that. And that's one of the reasons why I would not, at this point in time, be interested in taking position in Sigma, just because of that risk. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about right now is just insane trading. So this company started trading again, or Sigma Healthcare, started trading again on the 13th, which was 15, 14. Yeah, that was a Wednesday. And in that first five minutes of trading, this is a five-minute chart, by the way, share price got as high as $1.34 or 35 cents, which again is insane because the previous day, the share price or trading day, the share price was 76 and a half cents, which means if the share price rose 60% or 60 cents, that was about an 80% rise in share price. And I was thinking if the shares open up around about 70 to 80 cents. That would be fair value for this particular merger. Now, I could sort of understand the bullishness in regards to Chemist Warehouse. I honestly think if Chemist Warehouse ever becomes a tradable stock on the ASX, it definitely has to be considered to be in your high quality portfolio, uh, particularly with their growth plans, uh, not only in Australia, but also overseas. But there's also regulatory risk, not only in regards to this particular uh, merger, but also moving forward in regards to the pharmacy industry and sector. And that could negatively affect Chemist Warehouse moving forward. Now, when the share price opened up $1.35 or whatever it was, that was insane. And it was not shock for me to see the share price struggle moving forward because after that initial uh, rise in share price, and I think it was mainly retail investors getting a little bit too excited, not shocked to see the share price fall below $1. Dollar. Now, I'm recording this video, so right now it's 10 a.m. local time. So the market has been open for one hour. I'm just going to have a look at the share price. It's actually now down at 0.82% at 96.5 cents. And to be honest with you, if, and the risks are pretty high that this merger won't go through, and if this merger doesn't go through because of the ACC, that sort of thing, and I have heard both sides of the story. So it's not 100% going to go through. It's not 100% it won't go through. I'm thinking right now 50-50. I have heard both sides of the story. And if it doesn't go through, the share price of Sigma Healthcare will drop significantly. It will drop probably down to about 70 cents. So that is a downside. And the upside is if this merger does go through, I don't think the upside at this point in time would be as much as a downside. That is why I'm not as interested in taking a position in this company. However, if this merger does go through, I would be at some point in time interested in taking a position in Chemist Warehouse for a long-term hold. Now, one of the reasons why the share price is dropping is because of those risks, that this merger won't go through. So those that is probably the biggest risk for Sigma Healthcare right now. 
Uh, if I was a shareholder of this company, I'd definitely partake or participate in the capital raising. And I'm not sure how long we're going to have to wait before the ACC decides upon this merger. And let's have a look at some of the commentary I did see during the week in regards to this specific risk. And in my opinion, this is the biggest risk moving forward. So this is some of the commentary we have seen. So influential pharmacy lobby comes out against Chemist Warehouse deal. Uh, that's obvious, uh, that that lobby group. Forget the name of the lobby group, but they do have issues with Chemist Warehouse in and of itself. Uh, another interesting, this wasn't a, a title article, but this was just a little bit of commentary within an article. The ACC has opposed Sigma merging with API in the past for what it said will result in a reduction of full line pharmaceutical wholesalers from three to two. So based off that, that is probably making me lean more towards this merger won't go through. Now they did approve, was it West Farmers buying Priceline? But that was something else. West, West Farmers is not in the pharmaceutical industry. So that particular commentary there, I believe that was from AFR. And then there was this Morningstar analysis, Shane Ponraj said, we think it's likely the ACC won't approve this deal straight out. And that actually did make me think a little bit when I saw that, because I was thinking before that, that there was a really good chance this merger will go through uh, because uh, Chemist Warehouse management are highly confident. I suppose Sigma Healthcare management are highly confident that this deal will go through. And more than likely, the reason they're confident, uh, not the reason they're confident, the reason they have brought this mil this merger to the market is because they're highly confident that the ACC won't oppose this merger. So a lot of risk moving forward for Sigma Healthcare in terms of where the share price is right now and where the share price might be if this merger does not go through. So that's one of the reasons why I was highly surprised about the trading on Sigma Healthcare on Wednesday, what was it, the 13th of December, and why the share price opened at $1.30. It was absolutely insane based off the risk and based off the knowledge that the market absolutely hates risk. And sometimes the market ignores those risks and when for a very short period of time. And when the market becomes a little bit more aware of those risks, that's why you see the share price pull back. And that's why the share price of Sigma Healthcare is now dropping. So that's all I got in regards to this merger update between Sigma Healthcare and Chemist Warehouse. I'm really wanting Chemist Warehouse to list on the ASX. I want them to be a tradable company because I will buy eventually some shares in this company. On the little research I've done on Chemist Warehouse, I think they are an absolutely stellar retail on the AS, or oh, potentially one of the best retail companies on the ASX. This company has grown for almost nothing 25 years ago to a valuation of well over $10 billion based off the market reaction to this merger, share price getting up to $1.30. I have never been at Chemist Warehouse. I have started going past Chemist Warehouse and just looking inside and just being amazed about the amount of people that are in the Chemist Warehouse. The other day I did hear that they don't sell. Most of their revenue doesn't come through, doesn't isn't derived from the typical stuff you'd see in a pharmacy. It's from other stuff, like hair products, that sort of thing. And in fact, I think the CEO or one of the founders said they want to become like the supermarket of pharmacies. And it seems like that's what they're doing. So maybe I should actually go into a chemist warehouse, particularly if they do or this merger gets through or if the merger doesn't get through, they actually uh, list on the ASX in the future because there's been talk about this kind of listing for a long, long time, at least five years or so. Anyway, so I'll probably ramble on a little bit too long. So if you have any questions, any follow-up answers, if you are a shareholder of this company, or if you did buy some shares in this company because of this merger, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So leave those in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who's qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Bye.